Hi guys, welcome back. Um, slight mishap there. Um, for some reason, my computer just completely switched off. Um, don't know why. Um, so I do apologise. Um, all I've done is made the pad, stuck that in, and then we was making the pocket. So from where the last video finished, um, all I've done is stuck it in there, and then I've just cut two strips. Of first class stamps there okay just left them on their book and um, but they can just slip in there and then I've got stamps as well to send their cards to people okay so what we need to do now is cut our pen and pencil to go across and stick in the bottom here so I'm just going to grab one of these Right, now I need to decide how long this is going to be. So we need to come in a little bit from that end and a little bit from that end. So I need to, to cut that about there. So I'm just going to put pencil mark on that there. Okay, then all I'm going to do is take a knife. I have a sturdier knife here and um, loads of different blades and things in now very carefully um, because these are only cheap and they're cheap wood you can get through it funny enough with a craft knife if you do it carefully so I'm just gonna start pushing down on one side okay and then you can just start turning it round give it a wiggle down on either side and you should go as far down as where the lead is in the middle of the pencil hopefully and then you should come back around to that side to where you put your other where you started your cut okay so I'm just gonna go back around this again and just give it a good push down make sure it's gone and it'll probably go pop in a minute and ping off it doesn't take too long you may have to break it off yourself or even if you want to do this there we go it's just gone snap so there you go see and it's a nice clean cut across there okay and it's nice and clean and it's not sharp at all you don't need to take any sandpaper or anything to finish the end of that off so you've got yourself a little tiny pencil if you like using little pencils <laughs> and you've got a pencil to put in your stationery set uh, so let's just move these around okay and lock them up out of the way your fingers don't need to be touching sharp knives um, so now I've got my pencil which we're going to put in here um, round whatever way you wish to okay I'm not going to sharpen the end of it they can do that themselves um, I don't like to sharpen the ends just simply because as you're pulling it in and out to test it and whatever you'll get pencil marks all over it and so I just leave it like that and then whoever gets it can sharpen it themselves so that's my pencil right so now I need a strip of paper and I think I might use um, let's see what have we got here um, okay All right so I've got a darker piece here um, which will probably look nice with the color of the pad and what's on the envelope and um, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a couple of strips off there um, probably want them about an inch long I would say so I'm going to cut one there one there just get my scissors and cut them off there now just before I actually do this I'm just going to hold it on there and take it round the pencil now I see now they're not long enough so we know we need to do it a little bit longer 
So I'm going to go with inch and a half to make that that bit longer. Okay. And there are, yeah, just enough there. All right. So we cut that little piece off there. Cut that in half there. Okay. Um, now, do we want the light bit or do we want the dark bit? The dark would look better up around the pencil. Um, yeah, we'll go with the dark side. So, what I'm going to do is take that like that and hold it. And then just using your fingers, just carefully wrap that round like so. Okay. And it will overlap the pencil the other side. And then just slightly loosen it off a little bit. Okay. And then with your glue, I can't get the top of it up. Okay, now I've let that go. So, like I said, I'm just going to pop that around there, like so. Just very carefully loosen it off a bit. Take that edge up. Um, just take that edge up there. I'm not sure, sure if you can see that properly. And I'm just going to put a piece of glue on there, like so. Okay, and then fold that back around there. You probably will get it square at the edge, but that's not a problem. If you take your finger like that, the squirted glue, and then if it's a see-through glue, just rub it over that seam. Because believe it or not, it finishes that seam nicely, and it helps to hold that paper in place. Okay. So you're not going to have a problem pulling that in and out because I loosened it off a little bit. Okay. And then we do the same with the second piece here. So I'm just going to hold that there. Wrap that around the pencil. Get it this way this time. You might be able to see it a bit better. Let it loosen off a little piece. Like so. And then put my glue on the edge there. Take that up, push it down nicely. As you can see, the glue is coming out the end. So all I'm going to do is run my finger across it, okay? But then use the glue. I'll turn it around that way; it's easier. Use the glue that's on your finger, just to go over that seam. Just to kind of rub it in as though it was a cream, okay? And it just seals that nicely, so it's not going to come undone. And then give it a wiggle around just to make sure it's not stuck to your pencil, okay? And as you can see, that turns around quite easily on there, the same as that one does. So get your creases in the same place on your pencil. Okay, it's up to you where you place your pieces of paper. But what you need to do, I'll turn this around a bit, is you want to glue along your seams there that you've just stuck. And you need to stick them into your stationery box, like so. Okay. Um, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see a bit better. I hope that's a bit better. Um, so as I said, if you glue, put a piece of glue up here on your seams. Try and make that your seams are on a flat piece of your pencil first because it makes it so easier to push down on your pencil and get them to stick in your stationery box. So I'm just going to put some glue along here like so. You don't have to use great amounts. Okay, and then carefully see where my glue is on there. And then line that up where I would like it to be, like so. Okay, make sure it's straight where you've got it. And then just give that a push down and hold it for a second so that glue can set on there. It's easier to do it with your pencil in because then you can hold it down really firmly. Um, otherwise, obviously, if you take the pencil out and try and glue these on, then you're just going to um, squidge down the pieces of card. Okay, so you've got that on there like that. Okay, and that will slide in and out of there quite easily. Okay, like so. Let me do it around that way and then I haven't got my arm over the top of it and, and then you'll be able to see it. Okay, so it's like that. So, all I'm going to do now 
is, I think I'm going to take a stamp of some sort. So I might use the same one that I've been using on these um, and put a bit on the front of that pad, I think, just to make that a little bit prettier. So what have we got here? Um, I've got a light piece there. I might use that. Um, what stamp do we want? What one was we using? We was using that one, wasn't we? So, oh, wrong end. Look what you're doing, Donna. Take these out of here. Get me a little stamp block. And take that, which is the same one that I've used on the cards and on the tags. Okay, just give that a little push down. And then I'm going to get my ink. Again, it's up to you. You can um, use your embossing powder to do these, you know, to make it stand out a bit better. But I'm just going to use this. I think this is okay. I'm going to paste that about there. Like so. I'll move that out of the way for a second. Okay, so that's on there, like so. And then I'm going to just roughly cut around the edges of this. Um, I say roughly because I'm going to put it onto a cream piece as well. Like so. So we've just got that piece there. Okay. And then I'm just going to find a little cut off piece from the card. Um, what shall we do? I'm going to use my pen, my marker, quickly. And go around the edges of this, like we did with the paper on the box, just to make it look a bit nicer. Or you can go round it with your uh, little distressing tool or whatever, if you like. And then I'm going to stick this onto here, so I've got a little border around the edge of each piece. Some glue on the back there. And I'm just going to place that on there. So I've got a nice, about an eighth of an inch border on there. And um, I've just disappeared in my paper. So easy to do that. The amount of times I've done that as well. I've collected all my paper and then you end up with your tools stuck in amongst the paper. So make sure you pick your pieces of paper up if you're going to throw them away bit by bit because you'll end up with all your tools in there and then I'm just going to cut that so there's roughly eighth of an inch around each side on there like so okay so I've just got that and then I think I just stick that in that corner like so just so it yeah I don't think I want it in the middle I'm just going to stick that in the corner there just so that Finishes that off nicely. Some glue on there, like so. And I'm going to place that on there again. So there's about an eighth of an inch around the two sides of the pad on there. Use my bone folder. It's buried again. I'll just give that a good push down on there. Okay. Make sure there's no glue around the edges. And that's it. I think I'm done, guys. Um, I don't think I really want to put any more on there. I think it's all quite pretty as it is. Um, so there we have it. There is your stationery box. Let me zoom out again so you can see better. And there we have it, guys. Stationery box done. They're quite quick and easy once you know how to do them um, you can just kind of like crack on and cut your papers and get on with it and you'll have one done in no time okay so now I've done all that on the inside as we know that is not going anywhere that's secure in there your pencil that closes up like so fits lovely around there and then yep and then you've got your lid you can go on whichever way around you want it to and there's your stationery box okay
it's all nice and covered so if you want to put something on here I might put another little piece across here actually just to highlight that corner on there so bear with me a second um, let's find a piece that's a nice piece there so I think I'll take that off of there um, I want kind of like a, a longish one on there I think so what have we got on here I can't ever imagine a better friend than you. I think that one will do nicely. Um, as they're kind of, you'll be sending these cards and things to friends and family anyway. This one's going to a friend. Um, so that's obviously why I've used friends bits in it. So I'm just going to do the same with this. And get the ink pad and ink that up. And then I'm just going to place that kind of about there. And that will push down like so. I'll just move them out of the way again for a moment. So I've just got that on there. And then again, I'm going to cut up there. And just along there like so. And then Again, the same as the uh, bit that I stuck on the inside, on the notepad. I'm just going to go around it with my pen. Like that. And then again, getting a cream piece of card. I'm going to pop some glue on the back of there. As I said, I don't really want to decorate the front of this box up too much because these papers are so lovely that I just don't think too much on there and it's going to be destroyed. So I'm going to leave a little border around the edges there, like so. Just give that a little push down. And then again, just cut this around the edge, just leaving that little piece of border on there like so and then I'm going to glue that again or you could put some um, tape on this if you wanted to so it actually stood out up away from the box that goes with that side so I'm just going to place that right about there like so and then I'm going to turn that over quickly um, and just give that a push down on the other side like that so I'm not squashing the lid so that'll be on there like that okay and stand my box up again put the lid on and there you have it beautiful little stationery box okay and as I said it's up to you you can decorate this how you want you can put um you know some die cuts on there of flowers and bits and pieces um, but I think they're quite pretty as they are and there's your back as that all folds around nicely and slips in there under your lid okay and then as we know if you take your lid off and then pull the sides out and pull the bottom down and there's your beautiful stationery set so thanks for joining me guys on this little um, adventure i hope it's given you lots of inspiration sorry about the video cutting out halfway through and having to do this other bit um but yeah take care guys thanks for joining me love to you all see you soon